a little bit extra that's the name of the approach students if i ask you a simple question that uh, when you are preparing for your prof exams in the mbbs how many of you tried reaching to your best potential as far as your reading capabilities are concerned if if i say that your reading capability is 100 how many of you even touched 80 or 90 during your prof exams the answer would be perhaps very few of you most of you were using like 60% 65% of your capabilities and no more why because it did not matter much for majority of the students the percentage that they get in the prof exam is hardly something that they care about everybody wants to pass the exam but beyond that getting into top 10 top 5 is not the concern of the majority of the students and that is why you did not get that kind of ranks in the exams but now the situation is different now it's neat pg now whether you get 170 correct in the exam or 160 correct in the exam or 150 correct in the exam it is going to have a significant impact on what you study in your post graduation the branch that you get and also the place from which you post graduate so that sub optimal way of preparation sub optimal way of studying does not work anymore and more so when we are moving towards exam now now that only 23 days are left we have to push the limits the interesting thing about limits is we are often not aware of them because you were not using your brain to the full of its capabilities in all these prof years you think that your capabilities are much lesser than what they are i i often talk about this uh in the videos when i talk about my journey my preparation strategy when when i was preparing for the pg entrance examination i i was always a good student but i never knew that i could uh, study for 14 hours a day or 13 hours a day during those 40 41 days i realized that i can push myself to these kind of numbers and i can clock 14 15 hours i used to get very surprised by myself that i am studying for 14 hours a day and that my dear students is true for you as well you may think that this is my maximum but suddenly you will find that you can go beyond that number you can go significantly beyond that number there are a couple of students who keep messaging me the number of hours that they studied for and and i do see all those messages some of them who were sending me 7.5 or 8 two months back started sending 9 9 and 1/2 and nowadays it says they send 11 or 12 hours that is how it is supposed to be that is how it is supposed to be that is how you are supposed to study you are supposed to accelerate in the end you are supposed to put more efforts in the end this is whole idea that i am getting tired this whole idea that i cannot do it anymore all of this is nonsense this is fatigue is always psychological at the first step you have to go beyond it you have to overcome it this is the time to push the limits and there is the role of that approach that i am calling a little bit more approach a little bit more a little bit extra when you are studying when you are getting tired when you are about to stop that video when you are about to close that book tell yourself 15 minutes more 20 minutes more five questions more one note more 15 minutes of video more that little bit extra in every study session is the end of the hour a little bit extra throughout the day cumulative becomes significantly much more and that is how you win this game that is how you push yourself that is how you push the boundaries students these last days are going to stay with you and they're going to have a significant impact on finally what happens i i always say that the race for the entrance examination remains open till the very end why it's not only the knowledge how to handle the pressure how to push yourself how to excel it in the end right your your exam is going to be factual to a great deal whatever things that you can stuff in your brain in the last few weeks or few days they're going to come very handy and this is the time to do that that a little bit extra that a little bit extra of effort is going to work wonders so i can understand that you are tired i can understand you that you want this to get over with you know as soon as possible and it is get going to get over it's it's a matter of few days only but ensure that on the day of the result when the result is in front of you when that rank is in front of you you don't have any regrets left ye man mein nahi aana chahiye ki last mein thoda aur pad lete aaj pad lete hain so that on that day you feel the satisfaction that i did whatever i could do i keep saying the results are not in your hand the ranks are not in your hand what is in your hand is clocking 12 to 14 hours a day every single day when you get up in the morning that should be your goal and do everything possible to get that a little bit extra from your day start your day rather than starting your studies 30 minutes after getting up start it at 20 minutes 
rather than spending 30 minutes while having breakfast or 20 minutes while having breakfast spend 10 minutes rather than taking 30 minutes break lunch break take 20 minutes lunch break rather than listening to three songs while getting refreshed listen to the two songs rather than spending 10 minutes on the phone spend seven minutes a little bit extra here and there put together makes a lot this is the time to steal those little moments from the day and invest them in the studies keep studying hard keep pushing hard the mantra remains the same you have to take the preparation to the last day no matter what happens no matter how tired you get no matter how overwhelmed you get no matter what happens the world may go upside down but you would not stop studying till 14th of june 10 pm and if you do so my dear students nobody can stop you from getting what you want keep studying hard keep pushing hard may god bless you all take the preparation to the last day Thank you.